Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the iOS dev channel. In this video, we're gonna be using Swift UI to create this table view looking effect. Now, we don't use table views and it's actually so quick. This video will likely be five to six minutes long and I think you're gonna learn a lot and it's really basic, okay? So don't expect to get a whole bunch out of this, but expect to be able to get this effect really easily. Now, go ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna be bringing out tons of Swift UI videos every day for the entire year, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project. I'm gonna choose single view app and I'm just gonna call this table view Swift UI. Now here's the deal. This isn't a full kind of like table view replacement, but it is a way to get what you see here in the simulator and in the uh, whatever this is called, the canvas. And I think that uh, you're gonna like this, okay? And then I'll build upon these kind of videos and make it more like table views and see if we can completely replace it. Now, if you're running Mojave with Xcode 11, you can use the simulator to compile, but I'm just going to use the live preview because automatic preview, because I have Catalina and it works just the same. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our application and you'll see, we just have hello world. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And the way we can get this effect is with, by first writing a navigation view. Okay, so let's go ahead and say navigation view. Let's go ahead and read what it says too. It says a view for presenting a stack of views representing a visible path in a navigation hierarchy. Cool. Now what we need to do is put a list in here and give it a navigation bar title. Very simple. Let's go ahead and say list You'll see that if that auto completes a container that presents rows of data arranged in a single column, what else does that sound like? Sounds like a table view to me just without all of the data source and uh, delegate methods, right? Which I'll show you how to get similar effects on in future videos. This video is just going to be the looks of UI table view. Okay. So text, we want to put in an item here and just say something like subscribe for daily Swift UI. Okay. Now, that appears right there and it looks like we already have a table view. Now, what I love about this is look how much room's up there. It looks like we can just throw on a large navigation title, which I always use my own apps. Okay. And I realize this is probably kind of small right now. So I'll zoom it in and I'll edit the video so that you can see all that content. All right. So what we want to do now is obviously just add in a few more items. So I'm going to say subscribe for daily Swift UI maxcodes.io is my website. And uh, that has the free newsletter. And then I'm gonna say maxcodes.io slash courses because I'm hosting my courses on my website soon, okay? And I'm gonna offer a subscription, but for now they're just uh, Udemy courses for like 10 bucks a course. But once I get the subscription up, it's gonna be 25.99 a month. I don't think I wanted to say that yet, but I guess I did, so whatever. Anyway, we just wanna put some text in here. We're gonna say Swift UI course in description. And then I will add a title to this. Okay. This is super simple. All we have to do is say dot navigation bar title configures the title in the navigation bar for the view. And I'm just going to throw in a text. So we'll say text and I'll just say nav title. Okay. And I think we should be good. And you'll see, we already have this effect. Super simple, very quick. Okay. Now, again, I told you I wasn't going to be adding in like any custom data using methods or anything, but in future videos, I'll show you how to put in custom data here. I just wanted to upload this really quick because I knew it helped some of you out and I think it's dope and just super easy. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, drop a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.